Jordan Brown, an art major at Indiana Westland, was one of 24 artists selected to participate in painting a mural for the All-Star Tournament hosted in Indy. Yeah, so for me, my contribution is the gym race between Newcastle and Seymour. Uh, it's a gym race. They've been competing to have the biggest gym in not only Indiana, but the nation. I want to say that Newcastle's currently winning with like 8,000 something. I can't tell you the exact number, but I know that New uh, Seymour is behind by like 200, so <clears throat> that's funny. But mm -hmm. uh, as far as how I heard about it, it was actually sent out through like a school email and they had like open applications out on the Indiana Arts Commission website. So I applied uh, and I got through. So um, The way I uh, connected um with him about it was a, a local artist, uh, Jingo De La Rosa, uh, contacted me and was just looking to uh, uh, kind of get a, uh, a recommendation, assessment of his uh, of his ability, of his um, of what I thought of him as an artist and uh, as a person, and so I was able to advocate for him. Uh, but Jordan really was the uh, was the driver to to um, apply and take the the leap of faith um, that he could be one of a selection of, uh, of Indiana artists for this opportunity. Okay. Yeah, so uh, for me, I, I mean, I've played basketball for like all my life and I started getting into like comics and whatnot and I had a basketball comic that was going on and I was like, dang, it'd be really cool if I could like figure out a way to just like illustrate the courts and that kind of style. And that's what I did. Uh, I basically put Newcastle on one side and Seymour on the other side and uh, I got to put them in my own art style, and that came out really well. I didn't expect it to come out as well in painting, since, I don't know, everything's so digitally focused usually, but I liked how it came out. Uh, basketball is, a, is an important component of his, his life and a part of his experience. It's also part of kind of a legacy within his family as well. He has a relationship um, that was a, a professional player as well. And so that's one component in his life, uh, but Jordan is a, an artist and a storyteller through and through as well. And so, you know, anytime um, you apply for an opportunity, um, you have to kind of have this uh, belief that someone could say yes. And I think a lot of times what we do is we say no to ourselves before we allow someone else to say no. Uh, probably just that I appreciate the support. I mean, I've experienced a lot of support. I know, like, I know the congratulations and whatnot come, but, like, there's a lot of people that have really stuck their necks out for me. And people that have, like, really, like, been with me since the beginning, like, even when I wasn't as good or, like, wasn't getting noticed by uh, the NBA in a way. So I've always just, like, appreciated that, and that always sticks with me. Also, God, not even just, like, also, but, like, for that's really the biggest thing is that I feel like God's really had a hand out for me. Prof Lowe said that he is not only proud of the artist, but the man Jordan Brown is becoming. For Amplify Media, I'm Bryce Crossman.